Hello everyone, I am Dr. Sandeep Dachuri, consultant ENT head and neck surgeon with special interest in snoring and sleep apnea. As a ENT surgeon, I see a lot of patients who come with sleep problems. Sleep is essential as a restorative process to maintain cognitive performance, work productivity as well as physical, psychological and emotional well-being. In simple language, our brain needs sleep to function properly. Acute sleep deprivation leads to impaired cognitive function, increased cortisol levels, increased appetite, impaired glucose tolerance and long-term sleep deprivation may lead to deranged metabolism, increased insulin resistance, diabetes mellitus, cardiovascular problems, obesity, hyperlipidemia and eventually increase in mortality. So what can we do to improve our sleep to sleep properly? The first thing is as we are a gadget generation, it is better to avoid screens two to three hours before going to sleep. It is very important because if we keep seeing the screen, our brain will not secrete melatonin which is required for sleeping properly. So try to avoid seeing gadgets after 7 p.m. in the evening. Okay, next is sleep at a regular time and wake up at a regular time so that your body gets used to the circadian rhythm. It is very important and the body should know it is sleep time every day. So you sleep, suppose you sleep at 10 p.m. in the night and wake up at 5 a.m. Make it a habit, whether you are feeling sleepy or not, you go to the bed at the same time and you wake up at the same time so that the body gets used to the circadian rhythm. Keep bedroom clutter free. Do not work in your on your laptops in your bedroom. Do not eat food in your bedrooms. Keep the bedroom clean, use it only for sleeping so that the moment you enter the bedroom, you know that you have to sleep. And next thing is you should have a good quality mattress. We almost spend one third of our life on the bed. So it is very important that we invest in a good quality mattress so that we can sleep properly. Always maintain the room temperature if you have an air conditioner between 20 and 24 degrees centigrade so that you can sleep properly. If the temperature is too high, then obviously we sweat a lot and we may not have sound sleep. Avoid stimulants like caffeine and nicotine. It is very important. Do not smoke or consume alcohol after 5 p.m. Smoking should be completely avoided if possible and do not consume coffee in the evening after 5 p.m. so that it does not stimulate and always eat early dinner so that the food that you ate is digested and goes into the intestines and does not stay in the stomach so that when you lie down there is no reflux so especially for people with reflux problems please have your dinner before 7 p.m. and maintain at least three hours gap so that you can go to bed at 10 p.m. thank you